Okay, now let's talk about, or this is the third part of your 4.05 lesson, and we're going to talk about the magazine project that you'll be working on for your assignment. So we're going to skip on here and let's read what it says about the magazine project. You will create an online magazine of the 1950s. The magazine will include articles, pictures, advertisements, graphs, and more. You will begin to work on the magazine in this lesson and submit the final version in a later lesson. In preparation for the magazine, you should have visited the Tupperware sub website, read through that, and then I'll also read your lessons and um, be ready to begin. To begin the project, click 1950s magazine and create the, only the magazine cover. That is the 4.05 checkpoint is the cover itself. The rest of the assignment that you'll be working on, the different pages of the magazine, will make up the 4.05 graded assignment. Follow these steps to submit the magazine cover for your checkpoint grade. When you have created the magazine cover, create a screen capture of it by using the print screen function on your computer. Paste the copy of the magazine cover onto the graded assignment sheet and submit it to your teacher. Okay, and you will now submit your magazine cover as today's checkpoint. If you have not already done so, paste a copy of your cover onto the graded assignment sheet and submit it to your teacher. And then we will look at the graded assignment itself here shortly. So let's click on, so on page four here, we click on where it says 1950s magazine. And it's gonna bring us up to the screen that has our assignment on it. So we'll be working from this assignment screen um, to complete the whole project. But we're starting with the cover itself for the 4.05 checkpoint. Okay, waiting for it to load here because there should be more on it than just this. Okay, this is what's going to bring up when you click on the 1950s link. And you're going to see where it says 1950s magazine. And there's going to be a series of steps that we go through. So first of all, we have a check or a choose a magazine title. And really whatever you want. I'm just going to go with 1950s living. And there's my title. And then I have to enter a date. So I know this has to be a 1950s magazine. So obviously I'm going to do something in the 50s. Um, I'm going to pick today's date. Oh, got to click next to continue. Enter a, oh wait, I'm skipping around too much. I needed to go step by step. Choose an image for the magazine cover page and add a, enter a date. So click to choose an image. Here's one of the family around the table. There's one of a bunch of babies, one picking out a TV, an Elvis, the suburbs, watching TV, a drive-in restaurant, the records, the music, the interstate highway system, the moms and the baby boom, or watching a drive-in movie theater. Well, since my topic is 1950s living, I'm gonna go with the family around the TV set. That's gonna be mine that I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna click save, and then it puts the, um, the picture on there, and then I have to enter a date. And I'm just gonna go with today's date of April 8th, and I'm just gonna put, of course, but I'm not gonna put 2015. I'm gonna put a different date, so I'm gonna do 19, um, I wanna do 1955. That's just for me. And next, now we have to, it says print, press the print screen key to copy this page now and paste onto your graded assignment sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the function key, which is the FN, and on my keyboard it's at the bottom left. It might be different on your keyboard, but you look for the FN key, and then you look for the print screen key, which is probably abbreviated PRT. SC and on mine is the bottom right so I'm going to press the function and the print screen key together I'm going to make sure I have whoopsies not that yep save okay so I'm going to put it over here function print screen and that should work like a copy function and then I'm going to find my graded assignment sheet for my checkpoint and let's get this open Hopefully it won't take too long here. Okay, and here's your checkpoint cover sheet and it says paste the magazine cover here. So remember I did function print screen to copy. Now I should just be able to paste either by using the right click paste or if I want to um, do control V or whatever shortcut I want to do, paste. And there you have my magazine sheet. Now I have two monitors going right now, which you, uh, you probably you can't see here, but that's why it has this other thing on the left printed on there. But there's my magazine cover. And if I wanted to, 
Okay, I'm going to make it be a little bigger. And um, if I were actually submitting this, I would do a little more monkeying around to get rid of that other section, but um, it's fine the way it is for now. So that's my cover onto the assignment sheet, and I'd save this and put it into the 4.05 Dropbox for the 4.05 checkpoint. And that's your 10 points for the magazine cover. The title, the picture, and the date for your magazine. That's the first part of it. So that's just the checkpoint. Now you have to complete the rest of the magazine. Now before I move on, sometimes students have problems with um, using the function print screen. So there are other options you have for that. And here we can see some of the easiest ways to go about that. How do I copy the pages of the magazine? The easiest way is to use the function and print screen keys like I just talked about. If you can't get them to work, you have other options. You can use the snipping tool. And this is on um, a standard computer. I don't have directions for a Mac. Uh, it might be a little different, but use these directions as follows. To open the snipping tool by clicking on the start button, which is at the bottom of your computer, let me expand my screen here that's being copied so you can prop maybe see it. So to use the snipping tool, you go here to start, then you go to all programs, then you go to find accessories, then you look for snipping tool. And there you go. Then you use the draw line that around the area you want to capture. So I want to say, um, I'm going to do a rectangular snip. So let's say I want to copy this. And there you go. And then you just have to save that and include that as your um, as your snip for your project. So for the sake of the magazine cover, if you're doing that, you're going to go to programs, accessories, uh, snipping tool, there it is. And you're going to do your rectangular snip. And I'm going to draw my box. Well, try to draw my box. <laughs> um, let me restart that. But I draw my box so it actually worked around my project and that's what I'd cut and then I'd paste it onto the graded assignment sheet. Yeah, not that one. No, I don't want to save it. Try that one more time. So you can see what I need to be doing. See, even I have problems with things occasionally. Snipping tool. Okay. New. Rectangular snip. So now I'm going to draw. There we go. That's what I want to include. And then I would save that as my, my um, image and I'd paste that onto the graded assignment sheet. So that's one, that's one way you can do that. Uh, if that doesn't work either for some reason, you can also use a program called Jing and um, I can talk more about that if you still don't have things to work. Oh, wait a minute. There are some steps here if you to use a screenshot for a Mac. I have directions here with this WikiHow. There you go. So there is an option as well if you're using a Mac and you're still confused. Okay, so if, if you can't use the function print screen and if the snipping tool doesn't work for you either, then contact me and I can talk to you about Jing. Um, it's just a real nice program that allows you to do um, cuts from your computer as well that works out really slick. Okay, so there are options for you to get that image cut to your assignment. Then, if we go back to the assignment then, let me find it. So the next thing you have to do is now you have to work on the rest of the magazine project. And this doesn't have to all be done in one day. Um, it's do a few lessons from here, but you want to get a start on it. I want to take you through what you need to do. So the first part of your magazine is the table of contents. So you have to pick four different topics from the list shown. The baby boom, the girl for the suburbs, increase, increased consumerism, influence the TV, automobiles, the highway system, and the birth of rock and roll. So I'm going to pick baby boom, TV, automobiles, and rock and roll. And um, you should also be saving this as you go along so you don't lose your work when you X out. So be sure that you're saving your work as you go. And then we click Next. And then we have to enter a one sentence description. So like for the baby boom, the 1950s found people to be very confident to start families and 
the birth rate boomed. That's my little one sentence description. And then I'd go on to write a description for TV, automobiles, and the highway system as well. I'd save once I was done with that and I'd click next. And then I would work on my editor's note. Some magazines have comments from the editor, which sometimes consists of a story, comment, or reflections on a particular subject. One of the editor's note, write an editor's note on one of the following subjects. Your personal impressions of the 50s in form of a song or poem with an explanation before or after. A 50s family, this could be someone you know personally or what you've read from the websites. A fun fact or crazy you read about on a website or people that did not share in the prosperity of the 50s. Click next to continue. Okay, so I'm going to, I think I'm gonna write about a fun fact or crazy that um, I read about from the 1950s. So I'm gonna write, say, the new toys of the 50s are fantastic. The hula hoop and silly putty could keep my kids busy for days, for hours. I'm going to say days, for hours on end. These simple yet fun. Uh, I can't type fun toys are the best the bestie not the best and I'll go on to type more type more here da 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 and I'd you know write up a, a little paragraph and then when I'm done I'm fine with that then I'm going to click to choose an image and yeah none of these really fit my hula hoop thing but I'm kind of going with the fun thing so I'm going to go with the ketchup and that's going to be my my note here for the um, that goes along with my editor's note about the toys of the 50s or fun fad or craze. OK, so I'm going to click save before I move on and then I'm going to click next and I'm going to start writing about the content for my magazine. And my first topic that I personally picked was the baby boom. And what I need to do is describe the baby boom of the 50s, include reasons for the baby boom, its effect on American culture, and its impact on working women. Okay, so that's what I need to summarize. And I'd probably want to um, go back and write a little rough draft before I put it all into my magazine. It just would save you time, I think, if you were able to kind of sketch out your ideas before you're putting it into your magazine project. Go back to the lesson reading. Go back to the pages that about the baby boom and um, come up with some ideas of what you want to write about. And then you would enter your text here. You should have approximately three paragraphs per topic. So as you see, three columns, that equals about three paragraphs. And then you also and I'm going to have, I'm going to click next, and then I'll write my three paragraphs. So I'll say like paragraph. You're not going to actually write paragraph one, but since this is just my sample, I'm going to do that. Paragraph two here, and then paragraph three here. And then I'm also going to click to choose an image. So I'm writing about the baby boom, so I probably want to pick baby type pictures. And for example, is that going to be about the baby boom, the jukebox? No. Um, however, this mom with the strollers, yeah, that's probably a good thing about the, about the baby boom. And then I'll read through everything, make sure I like it, click save, and then move on to next. But of course, if you find a, a, an error or if you want to go back and fix something later, you can always go back. And then I'm going to do the same thing with TV. And I'm going to do the same thing with automobiles and the birth of rock and roll at the end. When you're all done, you're gonna make sure you click save, and you will then go and you'll copy and paste each individual page. You don't have to do it at the very end, you could do it page by page, but um, like I'm done here, and this will be the first page, no actually, let me go back a bit. I forgot the table of contents of the editor's note. That'd be the first page then that you include um, on your graded assignment sheet. It's going to say paste your first page here and that's where the first page you'll paste onto your assignment sheet. And then you'll move on to the baby boom when you're done with that. That'll be the second page of your magazine. You'll copy and paste that using either the function print screen or a snipping tool and you'll copy that onto the assignment sheet. 
When you're all satisfied, you submit it to the 405 Dropbox, and you're good as gold. Good luck, everybody.